Hey guys, welcome back. So this is video seven, I believe. So we're almost at the end. So now we're just gonna figure out how to compromise Telnet. So we're gonna leverage Telnet, get into Telnet. I'll show you guys how to do it. Open up some Wireshark, look at some packets. So if you guys are new, please like, subscribe, and share. If you're returning, welcome back. And remember to watch every single video in order so it all makes sense. Unless you're just here to learn how to, you know, capture packets and look at telnet traffic. That's pretty much what we're gonna be doing. But if you watch the other videos, obviously it'll make a lot more sense. So, cause I had to look through my notes through my, uh, my old videos actually. So I was like, oh, telnet was a good one. All right, so let's go ahead and just cat MS2. And let's just go back up and we can see that Telnet is open, right? So what does this tell me? This means that we can find, you know, cl uh, clear text passwords because it's in clear text. So what we're gonna do is we can use Telnet, let's Telnet uh, 10.0.500, 200 .5. okay? So now we have a login, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to, you know, once, we, once we're once we able to connect to like Wireshark, we can look at like the stream of the connections. So I wanna go ahead and cancel this, all right? So let's go ahead and clear that out and let's pop open Wireshark. And I truly, truly recommend you learning about Wireshark. Wireshark is, is awesome. It's a good thing to learn, especially for pen testing, uh, networking, all that good stuff. So you can, you know, learn about it. All right, so let's go ahead and pop this bad boy open. ETH zero is ours. So let's go ahead and open that. And there's no traffic right now until we generate some traffic. So let's go ahead and try to tell that again. So pretty much this is like me as an attacker and like, the network engineer is telnetting into a router or a switch or something like that. Think about it like that. This is pretty much gonna analyze the clear text information that's being transferred over the wire, okay? So let's go ahead and hit enter. And now let's do MSF admin, MSF admin, and now we're in, right? So now let's go back to Wireshark. Where is my Wireshark? And let's go ahead and stop the packet. All right, so let me see if I can make this a little larger. Can I? Oh, good, I can, perfect. So now if we look at this, we can see a whole boatload of information. Uh, let's try to uh, bring these little tabs over a little bit just so I can explain this a little better. All right, so let's go ahead and, so we had the protocol, obviously, we only care about Telnet, right? Because Telnet is the only thing that we really was you know, investigating in that point, right? So we can pretty much go down to TCP. So let's go ahead and look at follow, what is TCP? So let's go to uh, Telnet, right click, follow TCP stream, okay? So let's make this a little larger, can I? Awesome. So now what? what is this doing, right? So we're looking at the TCP stream of that Telnet connection, all right? So, where's my mouse? All right, so right here we can see never expose this VM to an untrusted network. That's obviously, this is all for learning purposes. This is, should be in, in your environment, locally, in your virtual environment, not really out in, in the wild. So we can see that there was a login for MSF admin and a password for MSF admin. The reason being that it has it twice is because it has to send and receive that traffic, right? So the password was MSF admin and we we're able to get in. So pretty much we can see the last login, which was today, right now, almost at, you know, 11.43 in the morning, right? Or 11.43 at night, almost in the morning, but yeah, so this is pretty much what you can do 
by capturing that, right? So now let's go ahead and exploit it, right? Where the fun comes in. So let's go ahead and minimize this for a second. Let's go ahead and minimize this. Let's open up this. So let's, we can leave that there. So let's open up MSF console again, MSF console. And now we're gonna go ahead and exploit this Telnet session, right? So this is, this is uh, how you're gonna go ahead and do that. <coughs> because now we were able to get the credentials. So now what can we do with those credentials, right? So let's go ahead and just clear that out. Let's do control. And now let's go ahead and search for Telnet. Underscore login. Okay. Let's make this a little smaller. Can I? And let's do that again. All right. So we have zero and one. So which one we're going to use? We're going to use one for Telnet login. Okay. Oops. All right. So now we can do show options. And it's pretty much the same as before. We're gonna go ahead and set the R host, the user file, and the password file. So let's go ahead and give that a jingle. Let's go ahead and let's do set R host um, 10.0.200.5. Okay. And then the, the, the user file and the password file. So set user underscore file, and that's gonna be root users, and then we're gonna do passwords. All right, so passwords, that's fine. And then this is gonna be passed on the score. Okay, so we, we set up the password file, the user file, and the last thing, so we, once we have a user and password that works, I wanna set Stop to true, because that's annoying. If it keeps trying and trying and trying. So let's go ahead and exploit that. And we'll see if we can get something. And it's, you know, using MSF admin, MSF admin. So it did open that session, session one. So we're gonna do the same exact thing as we did last time. So we're gonna do sessions dash U, in my case one, right? So now once that is, open, it should give us a second session. Once that second session is there, as you can see, it's open. Now what we can do is sessions two. And once that session two is open, we should be good. So let's give this a moment to, uh, to cook. And like I said, right there, so session two is open. So now sessions two, and now we have Metasploit, right? I, now we have Meterpreter, excuse me. So now we can do sysinfo, and then there you go. Now we were able to exploit this as well. So yeah, now we were seeing how Telnet, SSH, and FTP. So we did three videos, three different exploits. So the next one we'll get into is VulnHub. So what I'll do next is get the VM, how to get the VM, download it, put it in to VirtualBox, and then the following video will exploit it. Cool. So please like, subscribe, share, and until next time, have a good one.